we are observing how students are affected by the temperature in Athens and in their classrooms and how it affects the academic performance overall. So our group took a survey of 241 people in the school and 9.1% of people said that it was hot, 19.1% of people said that it was warm, 24.5% of people said that it was just right in their classrooms, 23.7% of people said that it was cool in their classroom, and 23.7% of people said that it was cold. In our survey, we asked the questions of how is the temperature of your room? Well, with our results, we got that this quote is like the unbearable conditions of this room cause me to perspire and make me uncomfortable clouding my thought process in the class. So that goes to show how temperature of the room can really affect how someone succeeds in the class. And it's just a big factor at Athens how our room temperatures are so different everywhere. How we should be consistent and be in a room temperature that's not affecting our learning. And another part of our project was to record the temperatures of the classrooms in the hallway. And so between 1 and 2 p.m. I went to the majority of classrooms and recorded the individual temperature. Also at the same time, between 1 and 2 p.m., I recorded the air conditioning temperatures, and this one here is what the students and the teachers are actually feeling. Later in the day, at 5 p.m., I went through the hallway to get the average temperature, and here, it, around 5 p.m., is when the air conditioning shuts off. And then at 6 a.m., after all night of not having any air conditioning on, it's obviously a lot warmer and hotter throughout the school. Here at Athens, we have the condenser coils. And basically, during the summer, for our air conditioning, we pump in hot air, and it goes through a cooling coil made up of just different chemicals, and it pumps our cold air into the building. And then in the winter, we pump in the cold air from the outside through a heating coil like you have in your oven, and then that pumps into the school. In 2015, Athens Drive used 21 billion BTUs of energy on just air conditioning alone. In 2016, we'll use 20 billion BTUs. For reference, the average American household uses 90 million BTUs. If the air conditioning in the school was consistent, then the energy consumption would be reduced.